In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Freightliner Cascadia for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're taking a look at the mod for uh, the Freightliner let me start again. We're taking a look at the Freightliner Cascadia mod for American Truck Simulator. Now this only works with 1.28. So you can't use it in any other version besides that. And we are in the Peterbilt dealer, just over there. And this is done by Cyrus the Virus. So it's been a while since we've had a look at the Cascadia. It was actually March. But it, this is a, a totally different mod. So yeah, but anyway. Let's check out the customized configuration. So. Uh, don't know why Steam did that, but anyway, uh, the cabin. There's only one cabin for this uh, chassis, only one chassis, six by four. Engines. Now you get a choice between DD or Cummins with this one. So there's a large variety ranging from 350 all the way up to 600 horsepower. See, there we go. 560, 505. So there's a few different ones there. So I'm just going to leave it on the. I'll put it on DD, and then we'll come and have a look at the Cummins sound later on. Now the transmission, you've got your Eaton Fullers, which have got 8 speed, 9 speed, 10 speed, 13 speed, and 15 speed, and, and uh, your 18 speed, uh, which we've got there. Now let's go to the interior. Now having a look around at this, uh, I don't mind this at all. A little bit jaggedy around there, but... Uh, you know, not too bad. The main areas that you're looking at are actually not too bad at all. Now, I, I did notice that there is a little bit lumpy there. I'm wondering if that's meant to be like that or if it's that just the just texture that's like that. It looks a bit funny. Uh, most of this is actually quite nice. There is a couple of areas, though, which are a little bit lower texture up the back there for example and some of the skins which we'll have a look at later which I don't know if he's going to fix that or what but it's just a couple of minor minor little things minor little things now uh, there's only one interior unfortunately for this one now let's go to paint jobs and this is where we'll see uh, how well you know it looks on from the outside so there's your custom paint jobs there you can choose any color you got your atomic. There's a few different metallics there to choose from. Blues. There's the gold. There's a snow white. No seven dwarfs. And there is your metallic colors. Now there's the first color. There is the second one. And there is the third. And they all work. Thank goodness. Now here we go. Here's some custom skins here. I absolutely think this skin here is shit hot i love it i love those airbrush chicks on the side of trucks that is that is just for me it's my favorite thing to see on the side of trucks i absolutely love it i really do uh then we've got this one now the you know tinkerbell i think it's meant to be uh she's a bit squashed there looks a bit squashed but anyway Still works. There's an Austra uh, Australia. There's USA one there. There's Tinkerbell again on the side. There's an American Eagle with the flag and Tinkerbell. Uh, Tinkerbell again. I think. I think. Um, I think Cyrus likes Tinkerbell a lot. I like. That's actually not bad. The difference there, changing, over the top. Look at that. That is uh, absolutely awesome, as a skin. I think that is brilliant. Look at it. I reckon that looks really, really good. Very good. Uh, and there we go again. There's Tinkerbell. Uh, some more different Tinkerbell ones. There's Tinkerbell everywhere through this. Um, there, that's what I was talking about, about the low texture one. The eagle there is blown up and it looks sort of really blurry and same with that there so bummer bummer that sort of thing that's you know one of those things that i i like to look at this dragon one here that looks nice i like that it's the dragon and the panther by the look of it fighting 
And then there's that one there. That is actually really cool. And there we go. Oh, and there's the metallic again. We can have a look at that one. But all the colors do work we saw before. So there you go. There's another metallic one that you can choose. There we go. Uh, I'm wondering if it's got a different flip flake. So if we have a look there, you'll be able to tell if we, when we do this, and then go over to here. Yeah, it has. That's the difference. It's got a different flip flake. So that's what the problem. That's the, not not the problem. That's what the difference is. All right. I'm gonna have to choose that one because I love animated airbrush chicks on the side of trucks I think for me that is just awesome I really do all right now let's go to accessories now there's some uh, lights there that you can choose uh, I'm going to oh I'm gonna put black on there give it black eyes um, and then we can put covers over the the top of that I think the the tinted ones look good and then down the bottom you can have your lights now because it's 1.8 you won't see the actual lights too much uh, you know with the new that's one of the the things they fixed with the flares uh, then we have the number plates this whole heap of US number plates here I mean there's Hawaii in there Wyoming there's all sorts of things uh, bull bar you can put your bull bar on there not gonna do it for this truck but anyway you can if you want dots there's heaps of dots so you can go and chuck on your dots you know to add your lights here and there and all over the place and go crazy which um, I think that looks really good you know when you chuck your lights in like that uh, then over there we have that's for the inside so that's the rubber mat I'm gonna put it on that one and we'll have a look at that on the inside that is the mirrors. If you want to have mirrors on the outside, you can. I'm going to take them off for this. And there again is the mirrors again for that side. Now, uh, that there is for the, the wind deflector on the front. I'm going to choose a glass one for today. It's the carpet. There's that there. There we go. There is. That's for the inside. Let's just put Coke in there. There's another one. Put Coke in there as well. It's a shame there's no beer, but anyway, you're not supposed to drink while driving anyway. And that was the parrot. You can put parrot inside there. And then we have a number plate. And there's the co-driver's number plate. And we have GPS, if you want to add the GPS in there. The flag, the good old American flag, you can add in there. Tint your windows, or you can have a mirror sort of effect there. I think the that sort of tint would look really nice and just while we're doing that as well you can tint the back window there and we'll tint it there so we don't forget that then moving on up to the the actual sun visor that one there paint with a color badge I think that looks really cool there's your chrome badge and there's the other way around which is pretty cool um, I think the chrome badge, let's put the chrome badge with the Cascadia chrome badge on there. I think that's really good. There's mirrors. Choose your mirrors, whichever one. Uh, I'm going to choose chrome for this one. I'm not really too keen on the base coat paint for this one. Uh, because the base is red, I thought you would have chosen red because otherwise it, yeah, looks funny. But anyway. Uh, inside there is a photo frame. And uh, if you really wanted, you probably could change that photo to be a f your own family or something, whichever you wanted. Uh, there is the light rack on the top. You've got paint or chrome. Just going to leave that there. And I don't think they're actually... Maybe when we get outside, they'll work. Uh, up the top, if you want to add, there's some more anchor points. If you want to add some more crap to the side of your truck, we'll put some horns on there. And you can put, you know, just go crazy and add, go nuts, add heaps on there if you want to. Uh, that was that there. Now there is the interior light. If you want to add an interior light in there, you can. Not my favorite thing to do, but anyway, you can. There is some beacon lights. And look at those. I think they actually look 
Very, very good on the side of that. I like that. Actually, uh, you know what? It looks like Mickey Mousey is on the top there. Hi ho, everybody! I'm Mickey Mouse. Uh, <laughs> um, then we go over to there. That's that glass on the side there, and then we have the step there. You can add some lights onto the actual side there, to the side skirts. Having a look at the tires now. You do get a few tires to choose from. You can get Bridgestone, Continental, Goodyear, Michelin, whichever you want. Just going to leave it on Goodyear. And then we'll zoom in here for the wheels. Now I'm going to put them on Seagull Chrome, but you can choose any of the standard rims that are uh, that are in here. Now down to Chrome Nuts and the hub I'll leave. And there we go. Now the thing is with the Freightliner cap, that's what you can put in there as well. But there's no Chrome one, so it does look a little bit funny. So we need to put all. Well, I, I like to make it all look the same anyway uh, leaving it as good year if it saves you once it's a good year <laughs> if it saves you once a year it's a good year that's right that's what it says uh, seagull chrome and then we'll go paint our nuts and the hub the hub will leave and then over here I will you know what I don't use these much do I there we go I'm gonna use those today Leave it on the Goodyear tires, and then we'll go Seagull Chrome, paint, and then over here we will put those ones on. There, there we go. Spinning around to the back, you got the mud flaps, and I didn't miss them this time. There's some painted one, there's Chrome, and there's the painted badge, and there's Chrome as well. Uh, I'm going to leave it on that one there, just the Chrome Freightliner. Up the top there, you can go plastic, paint, or Chrome. Uh, put Chrome. And then, interesting for the back lights here, you can go paint or chrome. Let's put chrome on there so it matches the back there. Uh, that was the GPS for the inside. Uh, no, don't don't worry about that then. And then up the top there, you can go and put smoke on if you want. We'll add some smoke on there. That is for the inside. That is for the mirrors. And I'm pretty sure that we have got everything now. Glass, mirrors. There's the light there. Right, so let's jump on the inside, shall we? Got that, got that. There we go. All right, let's jump on the inside. Now, uh, just starting over from the very left over here, nothing over there. And we click on there and we have got... You, know, you can put your GPS or whatever you want, your phone or computer and GPS, whatever. Uh, then above that, there's your mirrors. That there's your glass color. So see how it's hard to see here? I don't like that when it does that. From the inside, it's hard to see. I like it when you can see out clearly, but the inside you can't see as well. Uh, driver's plate. And then we have the, the mirrors for the outside there. Can we see those? Yeah, we can. And then we have the the wind deflector. There's parrot. Uh, the gauges you can change the gauge color if you want to. Uh, let's put them on chrome. However, one thing I notice is they're a little bit sort of lumpy, aren't they? They're sort of um, blocky sort of thing. But anyway, it still looks good. It still looks good. Uh, there's the actual chrome bumper again. There's your Coke can. You can go and change it to whatever you want. Red Bull, Sprite, Pepsi, whatever you want. You know, go nuts. Uh, same thing with that one as well. I'm just going to take that out. There's the mirrors. That is, again, you can go and put on, you know, GPS or whatever. But if you move it, that's it. It's gone from the other side. There's your flag. That was your mirror. Up there's your photo. You can take that out if you want. If you don't want it on there, may as well leave it there. It's all good. And then over here is your co-driver's plate. That there is your main mirrors. And no, that's not a spot. That's a speaker. I keep thinking it's a spot, but it's not. Uh, and there's your carpet. So you can go check a plate, text, or rubber. I'm going to put it on text. There we go. And spinning around to the back here. I think that looks quite good. I like the, the look of that in the back there. Um... Just don't look too hard at that black part there. It's a little bit sort of looks a little bit low texture to me, but anyway. 
But other than that, that is pretty much it. So let's confirm this. And there's our truck. And let's do a trade-in. And yes, there we go. Okay. And away we go. Already on the outside. It's loaded quite quick. Very good. And there's that sexy woman on the side of our truck. Oh yeah. I love that. Love that picture. And there is the American Eagle with the flag on the bonnet. Very nice. Uh, that sun's on the wrong side, isn't it? Normally it's, it's over this side. Oh well. Okay, so let's jump on the outside and check it out. So we'll start it up. There we go. Right, uh, what else we got? Let's see, lights. There's the lights. And you can't really see those lights because of the flares. Now I'm going to hit F4 here. And I'm going to go front auxiliary. There we go. Turn that off. Now, if we go high beam, yes, the lights on the top work. So all the lights are working, it's just you don't see them as much because of the flares they fixed in 128. So there we go. Uh, flashes. Flashes are working. Yes. Brakes. Reverse. There we go. Very good. And a horn. Air horn. No air horn. And um, we put some up the top too, so I don't know why they're not working. No, definitely not working. Alright, uh, wipers. Yep, wipers are working. Turn those flashes off. And uh, let's jump on the inside here. Yep, and... Um, yeah, you can still hear the horn. And the wipers are working on the inside. Turn those off. There you go, a couple of speeds there. And let's push display, cross your fingers. Yes, it works, very good. Very good indeed, okay, that's very good. Um, now, let's back it up and uh, let's go and check out. Let's go and check out the other engine sound. Okay, and away we go. It um, seems a bit loud, doesn't it? Oh, no, it's not too bad. I'm just looking at my sound meter over there. And uh, it tells me how loud it is. Okay, let's check out the other engine. Over to... There we go. And we'll check out the Cummins sound. Confirm. And I hope it is the same. Uh, sorry, no, I hope it is different, not the same. It was the starting sound that sounded the same, but then it's um, different, isn't it? So, yeah, okay, so it was, it was different. So, huh. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, let me just, uh, let's go take it for a drive. Uh, put those lights on, there we go. Oh, those gauges, look at that. The gauge lights up great. All right, away we go and uh, listen to that engine whine. I think my seat is too far backwards. Let me just change that. Field of view is 90 is what it is. That's what the problem is. 76 I have it on. And try that there. That's better. Sounds good. Dr 
drives nice, seems to be driving quite well. Yeah, it, it's driving really well. Wow. It's actually quite good. Wow. It seems to handle quite well. There's the banana brake. There we go. Oops, I just... Just totally stalled it there. Huh. I was thumbling for gears and stalled it, but it seems to be very quick. Goes quickly goes through the gears. But, you know, it works really well, but guys it's not up to me it's up to you if you would like to see this in the weekly drive then you know what to do punch that like button in the ass and that not only tells me that uh, you want to see this but tells me other stuff it's not only tells me that you're voting for this um that you want to see more and that sort of stuff but anyway it tells other stuff as well but anyway yeah stuff that up didn't i uh, and if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming then make sure you head on over to the junior senior gaming channel on youtube and check it out uh plenty there for you to watch and um, again stuffed it up I really stuffed out my outro wouldn't I can I just rewind that there we go <laughs> well that's it for me guys look uh, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and I'm 1010 on the side and remember game on <laughs>